this live and you have any questions, feel free to type it in the comments and I can read them aloud. And with that, I'm going to pass it over to you. Oh, good evening everyone. I'm making cauliflower tacos today. <laughs> it's kind of weird talking to a phone. Yeah, alive, I know. <laughs> just imagine you're just talking to you. Yes, yeah, perfect. <laughs> We've started off by cutting it into small pieces and we've washed it well because you must. Mm. And well, my mom's asked me to damp it super dry because if you don't, when it goes into the oven, it'll just mash up and we don't want that. Oh, like it gets too soft? Yes. Okay, yep. That's so a good we will try our best to dry it up as much as we can because we shouldn't disappoint. And anyone who's eating it. Yeah, and is this a favorite recipe of yours? It is one yeah. of my favorites. Mm -hmm. One of the reason being, I can just make like a bunch of this in one go. Mm -hmm. And like, even if it's like two people or like 10 people, mm -hmm. it's just everything, just put it in a bowl mm -hmm. and bake it up. Yeah, also, it's that. vegan, so. Yeah. That's great. That's great. I like that it's gonna have like a tomato spicy sauce. Kind of yeah. almost like a barbecue like, sauce. Yes. Yeah. It's like got a smoky flavor from the tomato. Mm -hmm. And so you're kind of cutting the cauliflower into like chunks. Eh? You don't yes. want them super small. Yeah. Big, like uh, almost bite size. Mm -hmm. A little bigger would be fine as well. Mm -hmm. But try not to cut it super fine. Like they just cut themselves automatically once you start pulling them apart. Mm -hmm. Real well. Do you want me to put the oven on for you? Too? Oh yes, that's yes. That I did not we can do. preheat and the oven. Really to Thank you for the recipe. Or we can preheat it for three seventy-five okay. or higher if you want to put it in for less time, really. Oh my god. 
Three tables. Yeah. Got it. It's nice that tomato paste comes in such a small. I know. And I find that I only ever really need a couple tables. Great. Oh, we have a feedback. Someone said yes. Sounds good. Sound quality is still good. Should have gone with the oil first because that helps glide the tomato paste oh, faster. Yeah. But that's okay. Well, it really depends on how you want to season your cauliflower. You can really just eyeball it and add things you think you'd like. Mm. Um, tomato paste is really good. Mm -hmm. It's also like slightly acidic. So it imparts a good flavor. That's good, yeah. Kind of offsets okay. the, other, the other flavors. Yes. Yeah. Have and you also done it gives a great color. Yeah. Well, have you done it with different spices? Besides the ones we're using tonight? No, this is your go-to recipe. Yes. Yeah, that's great. I love when people have a go-to recipe that they're just like, I know it's going to taste good. It's simple. And yeah. The tomato and oil ratio is normally one is to one. Mm -hmm. So, you know. Okay, that's good. It's like a three tablespoons. So that's three tablespoons as well. So some people who are following along tonight have the... The recipe in front of them because they can be part of the meal kit program um, and they've already got the ingredients. But for those of you who are watching that don't have the recipe, so far we've got one head of cauliflower that we've chopped up and we're actually just keep putting put it in there. Oil and potato okay. So we've got potato Oh, actually, I could just add in the spices and then mix. Mm. So let's start with that. That's salt. Yes, our giant bucket of salt. <laughs> <laughs> we go wow. through a lot of salt. So, the recipe calls for like three and a half teaspoons. Mm -hmm. I've been suggested to go ahead more than that. Oh, okay. Yeah. That's one. Nice salt helps bring out the spice, like the flavor. So that's a good, that's a good thing. How much do you think? Three and? My mom says, okay. Yeah. Well, right according to the recipe, so right. three and a half teaspoons of salt. Oh, shoot. Great. Bobby has the mom also giving us some tips. Yes. <laughs> Let me know if you want to be on, if you want your face on here too or not. Yep. Okay. <laughs> Perfect. It's nice. It's nice to have a mom in the kitchen with us. And we will also add a little bit of pepper. Okay, Not a lot, just half a teaspoon yeah. is good. A little bit of spice. You know it's pepper when you can smell it through your mask? Yeah, I know. Oh okay, next is cumin. Great. Yeah, we were dividing up pepper. That would be one, one teaspoon of one Just eyeballing it really. Yep. Yeah. We went up spices for the holiday boxes and it was so hard to not <laughs> overfill them. Yeah, or just oh, the spices. Yes. Yeah. Oh my god. We dumped them in a big bowl and then we were spooning them out into the little cup. And then yeah. we're gonna add a teaspoon of garlic. Garlic is just like you could use garlic as a whole mm -hmm. as well. Mm -hmm. Just mince it up real well. But garlic powder is just easier. Why go through the hassle? Yeah. And I suppose if you use the garlic whole, you might want to like maybe fry it first or something. And whereas with the spice, you could just yes. throw it in. And now the chili is completely up to your spice level. Mm -hmm. I like it super spicy. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to add one teaspoon anyway. It's just like the normal thing. But you can go ahead and add less or like more, depending yep. on how much you think is good for you. 
perfect. I think we're done with the praying it and we should just like get mixing. Okay. Get it in the oven. Oh, that's quick. It is such a quick oven. Yeah. That was one of the things I had to be used to when I started <laughs> helping in the kitchen. How fast and loud the convection oven is. <laughs> All right, now I'll just quickly add them in and just fold it into the marinade. Yum. I can smell it. It smells good. Anybody watching has questions or comments, feel free to type it in the chat. Or if you just tuned in and you missed something, we can catch you up to speed. There's other things you can do with this though. Like with the marinade, if you just add breadcrumbs and you can fry it up. Ah. So that's super crispy. Mm -hmm. But also, I'm scared of oil in general. Mm -hmm. So I shall bake it. Yeah, that's fair. It's really easy for things to splat, like splatter yes. up in your Especially face. Especially when there's so much water in yeah. this, you don't want to like risk it. Yeah. And I'll just gently because you don't want to break the florets, mm -hmm. but you also want it to like coat evenly. Okay. Look at how bright it looks. Yeah, it looks beautiful. It smells so good. Yeah, it has that nice spicy barbecue smell. Yes. Yeah, that's exactly what I was talking about. The yeah. tomato paste. Yeah. It's like, it gives you a very barbecue flavor. Mm -hmm. So it feels like it's been grilled right off like grill. Mm -hmm. So that's great. mix it up and put it in because mm -hmm. it's already so flavorful mm -hmm. that you don't need to sit it in. Also, if you do let it sit, the salt will draw the water out uh, from the cauliflower okay. and then, well, you don't want to do that. Yeah. That would defeat the whole purpose yes. of what you've been doing. Yeah. You can just prepare the marinade before and leave it out. And then as soon as you're done with the cauliflower, mix it in. I think we're done. Yeah, that looks good. Looks pretty evenly uh, coated. Yeah, coated. I will now okay. spread it on the baking sheet. Yeah, the baking sheet. We've got some parchment paper on there. Um, I guess people could do oil though instead if they wanted to. If you don't have parchment sure. at home. Oh, sorry. It's gonna. <laughs> Normally, I just like dump it over. Yep, you can the do baking that if you want to. <laughs> yep, I'll I'm back just up. scared it'll like go everywhere. <laughs> no, that's okay. This is time. very similar. Yeah. This is very, very similar. Yep. You toss it in like buffalo hot sauce with butter, it's just yeah. the same. Oh, so good. Well, just spread it up. Okay. And we can bake it. I don't know how fast we'll cook in the induction oven, but in the normal one, we I do it 40 minutes. Okay. It sometimes goes over 40 minutes depending on how, when you think it's done. And we just flip it in 20. I keep this on the side. Yeah. So maybe we can set it for like 25 minutes and then we can just check it and like... Yeah, sure. Perfect. Yeah. Do you want me to just... Yeah, so you can just pull the handle open. Okay. Yep. Wow. Oh. I know. Look at that. That's a big one. And then whichever rack you think is best. The other one is the top one. Yep. That's good. The one with the most room. 
It's so quiet when the oven's open. <laughs> and here it goes. And then the timer is just to the right there, that, that little dot. This one? Yep. Well, however long you think you want to. I'm going to leave it for like 22 minutes. Okay. That's it's really good. Hot. Okay. Yep. So now we'll just remove that. You can actually use these stems mm. for anything, really, but we don't need to use it necessarily right now. Yeah, my coworker, Laureen, was saying that she likes to make a soup out of yes. this cauliflower bits. Yep. I don't know if that's good for stock, but you can also add it to like red stock. Mm -hmm. I will watch these. Okay. Mm -hmm. And carrots and cabbage that we're going to make a little water. Okay. And everybody in this box got, I think, a quarter of a cabbage because the cabbage is so massive. Oh, yes. Yeah, and a couple of carrots. Um, I think the recipe called for a cup. Honestly, you can never go, there's there's never enough slaw. Mm -hmm. You can just slather it on. And that's not cute. I'll take it to the side. Okay. Let's do it one by one. Okay. I got this from home. Yeah, you brought your special, um, yes. Julian. Yeah. I'll just, yeah. leaving it up for the compost. Can you explain, because some people might not know what julienne means. Okay, so julienne is like a tenth of an inch square strips. Mm -hmm. And then, well, not square strips, just strips. And then you cut them with the same length almost. It's just really, really long and thin strips. Mm -hmm. And if you do it with a knife, which you can, it takes a lot of technique. Mm -hmm. But honestly, if you can create it, that's good too. I know, I have to say I was very impressed when I saw that in your recipe that it was julienne to carrots and cabbage. I was like, whoa, <laughs> that's great. I never julienne anything. I'm just like, ah, just great. Great, it's great. But I'm very impressed that that's the extra step. So for people who want to learn knife skills, this is a good... Uh, so this would actually just almost noodle it out. Look at that. And this is technically a little thinner than what julienne should be. Okay. Otherwise, I can, I think, show you. I'm yeah. not the very best, but oh, that's okay. <laughs> let's see. That's great. It's just a learning, uh, you know, it's an opportunity for people to learn some different kitchen skills. So I will learn something out of this too, because as I said, I never julienne anything. Look at that. It's so nice and neat. I'm pretty sure this is not how you use a knife. But oh, I, I think you're doing it well. You're just getting them really nice and straight at this point. A carrot seems like a good thing to practice on. Too. Yes. Yeah. One of the easiest. Is anyone watching a julienner? I just I just like using this word now. <laughs> Whatever you can find easy yeah. to do. Yeah. Because really it's just a fun recipe. Yeah. And you shouldn't be thinking so much about it. Totally. But it does look so nice. It does make me want to go home and practice <laughs> some knife skills. Yeah. I'm pretty sure normal people do it much faster. I'm just slow. Oh god, no, if I did it I would be very slow. Also, I don't do this very often. Mm -hmm. I just use my noodle thingy. Yeah, the noodle thingy is very cool. <laughs> it has a couple different settings, right? Yes. Yeah.
who are just joining in, we're making cauliflower tacos. We've got the cauliflower in the oven right now. It's in a nice tomato spice marinade. And right now, Flavia's making a nice slaw to go on top of the tacos. Carrots and cabbage. Sure. Yes. Yeah. That's okay. almost what I was gonna say. Like yeah. my mom knows this. Every yeah. time I cook, I do it for like therapy. Yeah. Because I'm like, I just like like to be alone. Yeah. I can relate to that. Cooking is such good therapy. And then you get to feed yourself at the end. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Also, eating at home is just so much better than eating outside. Mm -hmm. Yep, you can make it exactly how you want it, spice it how you want it. Exactly. Mm -hmm. And also it's cheaper. Yep. <laughs> and you to save money. Yeah, cabbage and carrot are probably about some of the cheapest veggies you can get, but they're so tasty. I honestly just... Another easy 